everybody, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas, and I want to show you today how to do this chalkboard technique. This is a card that I created for one of our TCP Tuesday challenges. It was a neutrals challenge, and I thought it would be perfect to do the chalkboard technique on this card. So let's get started. First, we start with a black panel. At the top, I've used our notebook cut-ups die. This particular die is found in our topper's cut-ups. It's basically six different dies all together that you snap apart and you can use separately. So I die cut the top of this five and a half by three inch panel. I'm going to want to tear this so I'm going to assemble the base it's on and then tear it to size. And I'm going to use a little bit of glue stick. People have asked me about the glue stick and I I like it better than tape because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. And I don't have to worry about it being perfect the very first time I put it down. So now I'm going to take the panel and place it on the card, kind of judge where I'm going to want to tear it. I want a little texture, so I'm going to tear up. When I tear up, this shows the middle core of the paper. And it gives a, a nice bit of texture. If I didn't want this texture, if I wanted it just straight, I'd tear down. So now let's get stamping. I'm going to be using workable fixative on the card. You can also use hairspray in a pinch. In addition, I'm going to be using um, a little pouncer that I made up. This is basically a square cloth with some baby powder in it that I've tied at the top. I can use an embossing buddy as well, but that would mean that I'd have to look for it. And it's here somewhere, but I don't have a dime. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this pouncer that I made. Take the workable fixative and spray it along the card. Before it dries, I'm going to take the pouncer, just pounce around the edge. The workable fixative will help adhere the baby powder or the chalk and keep the ink from soaking into the card. I want to try to avoid putting any kind of chalk in the center where I'm going to be stamping. I really want the image to pop and I really don't want the baby powder to interfere with the image or the coloring. I'm going to be using this bunny and a rocket from our Soar Cling set. And for the ink, I'm going to be using this Colorbox Frost White. It's pigment ink, so it's not going to soak into the paper. Now at this point you could use white embossing powder, but we're going to be coloring this image, so we're just going to heat set it and make sure that it's completely dry. We want to make sure it's completely dry because we're going to be using watercolor pencils to color the image, and we don't want any smearing. So here I think I'm going to stamp the sentiment from the same set. And now I'm going to stamp the three stars. And I didn't get a perfect image, but that's okay because that kind of adds to the chalkboard technique, I think. Then we're going to go ahead and heat set it again. Now we're going to take some watercolor pencils and color the image. I find that the watercolor pencils really are so much better than like the Prismacolor pencils because those tend to have a little bit of wax in it. I think that the watercolor pencils really make the image pop. So I'm going to just slightly color. And I'm not going to color the whole image and I'm not going to do too much coloring. I want a lot of the black to show because it is the chalkboard technique, remember. Just a little bit of color here and there. Now I'm going to add a little bit of yellow, and I think this will really make it pop. If you've ever been to a restaurant with, where they have the menu on a chalkboard on the wall and they color the image, this kind of gives that look. And here you can see this is the reason why I didn't use the embossing powder, because if I were to use the embossing powder when I started coloring it, I could knock the embossing right off, and then it would just be a big mess. So I'm going to keep on coloring. I can make things darker, I can feather it just like I would um, normally do if I were coloring. Well, I guess I am coloring. And you don't need too much. Just 
a little bit here and there. You can see this is really fast and easy. I just love the look of this. Keep on coloring. There. And I'll go a little heavier on the white. Then I'll get those stars. And this is the reason why you want to make sure that your ink is has been heat set and is completely dry. Because you're coloring right up to the edge, you don't want it to smear. Now I'm going to take a little bit of white and just doodle a little bit. Make it kind of look like a chalkboard, like somebody's just been playing with the chalk. We'll do a little bit of doodles here and there, some line work, maybe some lines to make it look like there's motion, a couple dots here and there. some lines and dots around the side. Whatever I think looks good. I think that's it. I like it. Maybe a wee bit more white. So I'm going to give it a light spray and a little bit more chalk along the edge. like that because I think it'll really pop on the card if it has some white edges. I can even go a little bit further and just add um, some of the white ink along the edges. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. And I can actually go around the bottom and really highlight that edge And if it smears, if I put my finger on it and it smears, it doesn't really matter because that just adds to that look. I think it's pretty cool. Really easy to do. Now we're just going to attach it to the card. A little bit of glue stick. I think it needs something. Maybe just a little bit of bling right there. Hmm, let's see, what do I have? Okay, some rhinestones, perhaps. Where are my tweezers? Okay. I love these self-adhesive rhinestones. They make things so easy. Then, as the last touch, I'm going to put this little embellishment that I made. I made it using our 3x3 three three stars cut up dies. It cuts three stars and their outlines at the same time. So I just put them all together with a little bit of foam tape. And some rhinestones to embellish the solid star. Well, of course, the hardest part of this card is removing the back of the tape. There, I just place it, and there I go. I love this card. I hope you like this chalkboard technique. It's so easy. Thank you for joining me, and have a great day.